Yobruch Nation this morning. We're here in our preparation for the Pesach or the Passover. I haven't put up a video in a moment of time. So I'm out here trying to prepare. I want to show you the preparation. There you that will say, well, it's not the time. It's exactly the time. We have learned a false paradigm when it comes to the time and the season of Almighty Yah. So you can see our gut look. I've got it rolling and ready to go. My rotisse. What are you going to put on that? Well, I'm going to show you here. We look at the garden. We're eating, trying to make preparation for the upcoming season as we will allow the fullness of our land to rest. Oh, why do you do that? Well, there are many that allow their grounds to rest, but they don't understand. Yisrael rest the land. It was to produce as well, but it was for the purpose of the dull, what the Torah calls the dull, the poor, and those that did not have the resources to purchase food and things of that nature. It was for them to come pick. It was free, and they could do that. We have always, when we grew the large gardens, thousands of plants every year that people would ride down the road, see the garden, make me no difference what kind of person. They would ask, do you sell this? I said, no, you can have some if you want some. You have to pick it. And they would pick things from the garden. And we would give that to them. And so that's for the reason the land to rejuvenate and all. But we do have a system of raised beds and things like that that we have established over the years. And that's what I'm working on to enhance this. As you can see here, we're taking down trees and doing things that will enhance the land. Uh, we're going to put. We're going to put up beds that will will benefit us. The daughters can come out and pick instead of waiting for us to harvest from the garden. So all of this area here, you see how we're cutting trees down. This building we will keep because it is a system that produces hot water by woods, and all of this wood we will use to burn in our homes. And so this entire area between see that yellow building all of that will be used to produce along this line and we will produce everything we need out here strawberries and blackberries and things of that nature so we will be doing that so these trees will come out to give us more room to do what we need to do beautiful day here today and I'm out I wonder if you I haven't cooked anything in a long time because physically I just can't do what I used to do because this track feel and all and lifting a tremendous amount of weight it had its impact on me I'm we, we're beginning here with raised beds here this will be we began the garden or the beds this year we will grow just the barascas collards and things like that in here and along this way we're going to have food everywhere everywhere along the front here we put some garden bins there and we're going to have food and this is what we're doing right now as you can see we're prepping everything to get things done all of this will be that's a guest house there up front we're prepping everything to and these were little booth for tabernacle when people came and they would stay in places this would be an area to put up tents we have a tremendous amount of area to put up tents this is big mama here the grill well, let me say this video is going to be spliced together because I'm going to give you a full day of what I'm doing, the activity. Let me show you this, what I have inside here. 
for the Passover. All right, welcome to our house here. This is a monster here. Look at that. You see that? One of our sheep. This is a yearling. Born last year here. And this is what I'm going to put on the grill out there. This. She is ready to go. Injection and nice rub on that. That's going to be a tremendous my feast as we gather for the ship uh, for the Pesach, the Shabbat of Yah. I love to cook. I don't cook like I used to, but I still love cooking. The daughters here, my Isha, they do a tremendous job of preparing healthy food for us. So I'm going to prepare that. Doesn't it look beautiful? Look at that. Beautiful injection of spices. And... My, that looks wonderful. I'm going to take that out, so I will pause here, but I will pick back up. We will splice everything together. I'm not the most adapt person when it comes to this, but we will get it done here in the fellowship. And this is our fellowship. Where we men folks come to fellowship, we have guests, we come to dine in here. We've had a minute to come through here and fellowship. But people tend in their stubborn ways, haven't done one thing, but watch YouTube videos and they know everything. They have never even lived the concept of loving each other and sharing with each other. They haven't. And they don't know. I've met those that were coming, well, you know this. And, well, you don't even have a raised bed at your home. We're going to do a tremendous <clears throat> teaching on this nation here and the people of Yisraya here. I have prepared it. It's just a matter of time. So what I'm going to do right now, what I'm about to do, take this out. This beautiful lamb here. Then when I began the process, I'll invite you back. Give me one moment. Shalom.